So instead of India is an international accelerator, working with technology startups to help them scale up. We are in India from last four years, house start of Bombay Stock Exchange building in Mumbai. We are a joint venture between a Canadian entity called Ryzen Futures and Bombay Stock Exchange Institute, accredited and supported by Government of India, Department of Science and Technology. Uh, essentially, we work with uh, technology startups to help them scale up by providing them with business development opportunities, mentorship, infrastructure and investment opportunities. Uh, around three, uh, two years back, uh, Zone Startups India launched an initiative called Empower, which uh, was uh, well launched India's first tech accelerator for women entrepreneurs. The objective was to find and scale amazing women entrepreneurs running tech startups across the country. The program has been hugely successful. Uh, over the last two years, we have worked with around 35 women entrepreneurs and interacted with around 550 women entrepreneurs. Uh, seeing its success, uh, around uh, two months back, uh, Zone Startups India, in partnership with Shell Foundation, uh, Government of India, DST and DFID India, launched the program called Powered. Uh, Powered is a three-year long program engagement between DFID India and Shell Foundation uh, with an objective of scaling women and energy. Zone Startups India is managing the entrepreneurship program of Powered. Uh, here, our objective is to look for women entrepreneurs uh, across energy value chain. So we are looking at access to energy, sustainable mobility and waste to value and helping them scale their businesses. The first challenge itself, it's a very niche area which we have picked up. Uh, in itself, energy or impact space hasn't yet picked up in India. So there are not too many social startups or social businesses which are uh, working on environmental issues around energy or any other environmental issues. Uh, women uh, having a leadership role in these startups is uh, again a very niche area. So we haven't been, uh, we, so if you look at numbers, not more than 2% of women would own a leadership role uh, in an impact startup. Uh, and that's a challenge which we have taken up that we want to increase that number because the consumers on the other hand are majority of the women. There's a startup called uh, Saral Design founded by Suhani Mohan uh, in Mumbai. So Suhani is setting up manufacturing units for uh, manufacturing sanitary pads. So instead of selling sanitary pads, she's setting up those manufacturing units which creates entrepreneurship within a rural economy. So her business is creating micro entrepreneurship. That is one of the great examples we have seen wherein uh, she's trying to inculcate more entrepreneurship within rural ecosystem apart from the sanitary uh, hygiene itself. Uh, another startup which we have seen, uh, so we have seen multiple startups across health tech, edutech. Uh, when you talk about sustainability, uh, I mean there are startups like uh, SMV vehicles, there are startups like uh, uh, Pico Energy, uh, founded uh, which are creating great success stories.